Hello again folks and welcome back to the recheck. I'm just after lunch but this is the recheck for cow 7508 who just had that massive squirt out of that front left foot. Hello folks, Tom with your Tech TV. Whoa! What on earth is stuck on this cow's foot? <laughs> I'm a better cook than I am a trimmer, so this is why I get this job. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down under the name of who's trimmers. And so far so good. I told the farmer to leave the bandage on this foot, but so far this cow's putting her full weight, or what looks to be her full weight, on that foot. Let's get her in and see how that sole is looking. So while I'm getting this cow loaded into the crush, let's take a quick look back at how we found her two weeks ago. So back that day, she could barely put any weight on her front foot. We got her into the crush, we washed her hoof off, we pressure test this cow, and as you can see, she really feels it on that inner claw. We investigated, found that that inner claw had a huge pressure in it, and as you've seen before, we blocked it, stripped away that detached hoof horn, gave this hoof a nice salicylic acid bandage, and sent this cow on her way. Now I know she wasn't walking perfectly that day, but I'm really hoping for a perfect recheck today. Alright, the block has remained on this here, so that is down to a fantastic black magic glue, but the Corium was very injured and sore. That's doing nicely. As I say, it's about three weeks or so from we did this trim, so this is really nice progress. The corium is ever so slightly still exposed there a little bit. Um, nothing hardly worth talking about, but if there was to get dermatitis into that, it would it would inhibit its final piece of final part of recovery. So, I think I'm going to put a little bandage on this here, just keep any of that digi causing bacteria out of that. It is a little bit soft, ever so slightly soft, but this bit has just almost joined at the white line there. The sole and the wall is joined together almost in the repair, almost 100%. And just before I put on that bandage, I'm just going to square off that block. The cow needs it for the last bit of recovery. The block sometimes does wear a little bit funny at a funny angle, so I'm just going to straighten up that angle and then bandage her. We got the top down, cruising at 65. The engine's rolling, it's good to be alive. Out on the Now it might seem a little bit overkill putting another bandage in this, but I really don't want any bacteria to get in here and undo that really good progress and good healing that this cow has made. And just as I'm around at the front left foot here, what do you think of the latest and best addition to the crush? It's a little coffee cup holder, although today I have my matching water bottle in it, trying to drink more water and reduce my coffee. And it also holds my phone. This here's a little pram coffee cup holder, so it clamped onto the crush nicely. So Gareth never gets thirsty. And that's another happy customer about to leave the crush. Folks, thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoy those recovery videos where you bring the cow from discomfort all the way through to comfort, 
hit that subscribe button. All the best, see you all soon.